In this assignment, you have to implement a dynamic clock on SSD using internal timer. So basically, as soon as the board is powered on or reset, the clock should start at zero. The decimal point of the hours field should blink once every 500 milliseconds. The clock format should be 24 hours. The clock enters into configuration mode by pressing set or edit key. The configuration mode is indicated by a blink on the minute field every 500 milliseconds. The fields can be selected with choose field key. The selected field should blink at the rate of 500 milliseconds indicating the selection. The increment key could be used to increment and decrement. Key could be used to decrement the value of selected field. It should be level triggered. Once the time is set, you may use the set or edit key to start the clock and this mode is called a run mode. No key except set or edit key should be sensitive in run mode. The objective of this assignment is to learn and understand the basic working of the port that is how to configure the port pins as input and output and how to configure the port pins as digital. Interfacing LED with the microcontroller, working of LED that is concepts of current sourcing and current syncing. Interfacing tactile switch to microcontroller as active low or active high tactile switch bouncing effect and how to avoid it. Level triggered input, interfacing SSDs to microcontroller, working of SSDs, its types like common anode and cathode, and creating SSD fonts based on the provided hardware, font mixing, interrupts and its fundamentals, timer and its need, timer and its fundamentals like resolution, tick, scale and quantum, timer configuration, time calculations for specific needs, ISR and its do and don'ts. For this assignment, you should have knowledge on input output port, tactile switch, SSD and timer.